Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your fast math freebie of the week. Now I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's fast math assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. In these videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point focusing on test taking skills. If you know that you need some more help breaking down the math skills, I encourage you to check out the link below, which I'll point out again at the end of this video that will point you in the right direction for some more in-depth videos to help make math your jam too. Now the question type that we are going to be focusing on this week is drum roll. Matching item response. Oh yes. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve it on your own. Then when you're ready, come on back and let's check your work. All right, welcome back. So it says to match each expression to the expression of equal value. So we have expressions down here and then we have expressions over here and we need to match them to what is equal. They have the same value or the same amount, the same worth. All right, so let me study for just a second. And right away, my brain pops out to this right here. I see three times six, which we know is three times six is what? 18, right? Six, 12, 18. So then we have two times 18. So we have two times 18. And if you notice, this column right here has 18 times two. That's using the commutative property there. Okay, so when we're composing it back together as three times six, that becomes 18. And then if we flip those factors around, it doesn't matter the order of the factors, that's using the commutative property. So for this one, I can go ahead and mark that that is the correct answer there. Now my brain is kind of gravitating towards this one right here because I see two, six, and 10 those are three factors that are being multiplied, two times six times 10. And up here I'm seeing six times two times 10. And yes, there are parentheses around the two and the 10 to show that we should solve that part first. And I'm noticing that we have three factors this time. We're changing the order and we're grouping them a little bit differently. That's using the associative property of multiplication. So these two are also equal. And I'm actually gonna take it a step further to prove it because if I were to solve this part first, two times six, that's 12, and 12 times 10 is 120. So this one right here has a value of 120. Up here, if we did six times two times 10 and solve the two times 10 first, because those are in parentheses, that would be two times 10 is 20, good and six times 20, well we know six times two is 12, so six times 20 is 120. And look, they both have a value of 120 to prove that they are of equal value, just like the direction said. Now for the final one, we could say, all right, this one looks a little bit crazy. It must be the last one, six times 12. That must be what it matches. But we're going to make sure, we're not just gonna select that when we can do a little bit of work to make sure. So I'm actually going to solve this one up here. I'm seeing six times 10 grouped plus six times two. So it kind of looks like this one has been decomposed or broken down using the distributive property of multiplication. What I'm going to do is put it back together and see if it looks like six times 12. So six times 10 is what? 60, good. Plus we're adding six times two, which is 12. And 60 plus 12 equals 72. And it looks like we've actually kept the six, right? And we've broken down this 12 into 10 and two. Now six times 12 we know is also 72. So those have equal values again. So now with some more evidence, some more proof and reasoning, we can go ahead 
and select that last answer with confidence, okay? Go ahead and make sure that you jot down any notes that you need to, and then let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So definitely make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to practice. You've got to be intentional about the effort that you are putting into whatever it is that you're trying to get better at. I believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye!